My name is Sean Lawrence. I lead the cell culture development group within preclinical manufacturing and process development, and this is a role that I've had for the last 20 years. I have a, a, a PhD in chemical engineering. I have done a lot of uh, activities such as molecular biology, carbohydrate chemistry, so I think the cell culture aspect uh, was uh, kind of a natural fit. Um, it also uh, was kind of in my interest. The cell culture is what uh, originally creates the medicines, uh, which are proteins and very complex molecules. You can imagine that the better you treat the cells or the conditions that we allow them to experience, uh, it impacts our product ultimately. We look at the physical parameters such as temperature, we'll look at the nutrient conditions. Uh, the cells are living, they need uh, things to grow just like uh, you and I do. Uh, we're you know, very focused on uh, optimizing all of those things uh, and, and bringing those forward. There's a lot of science uh, that goes into uh, how the cells work, uh, uh, but there's also a little bit of art too. Um, they are somewhat of a black box as, as they are living uh, entities and uh, we don't know completely everything about them. In cell culture, we tend to work at a smaller benchtop scale. That I think lends itself towards uh, doing more experiments. There's a lot of scientific uh, focus, uh, less on the uh, preclinical manufacturing aspects. We have over a hundred bioreactor systems at uh, different scales, so there's a lot of data and uh, kind of ideas, kind of experiments within experiments that, that can occur there. You know, is there a better way of doing this? Can we uh, do this on in computer? Um, can we uh, do things by project management? Can we become more efficient that way? So experiments kind of drive our thinking and, and impact, uh, you know, not just what we're doing on the lab bench, but uh, everything that we do. Well, so our pipeline at Regeneron is increasing. There are more activities that we're doing. We're diversifying into different spaces, uh, such as automation, uh, data science, um, and, and even managing uh, the, uh, the increasing uh, workload of people. Um, you know, these are all the challenges we face, and, and we're looking for you know, bright people to help with the workload, but to also innovate the workload that we are doing. You know, most of the people in the team are scientifically motivated. I think you have to be curious. Our group does have a very um, strong scientific uh, component. I think there is a level of uh, dedication. Um, a lot of what we do uh, does happen on timelines. It does impact people's lives. The cells, they have to be nurtured and the experiments have to be uh, monitored, um, you know, potentially on a, on a continuous basis. We're all on a team with a, a mission. I think the, the mission tends to be very scientific oriented. You know, I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, our, our priority is, is, is patience and kind of sustainable practices. Working together, you know, making sure what we are doing impacts the lives of others and those around us is, is a big part of what we do.